Good afternoon. This is Henry Gould in Minneapolis. I'm sitting out here in a secret hideout I have out in the backyard. I thought I'd try a little experiment and address a simple question. Why do I publish so many of my poems on my blog? It's a very good question. It's not that I'm afraid to compete with other poets in the professional marketplace. It's not that I don't have enormous respect for the editors and publishers of little magazines, big magazines, poetry books. I do. It's not that I haven't tried. It's not that I've given up. I haven't given up. But I think maybe there are two main answers to that question. First of all, I find the whole blogging setup to be kind of a new way to present poetry. There's an immediacy to it. The poem is written, the poem is out there. The poem is available to anybody who wants to find it. Any place in the world, just about. Now, I know there are all kinds of complex political issues dealing with social media and Google and Facebook and corporate interests and all that stuff. I know that I'm, I'm part of a huge global situation that is not all good. I spent a lot of time in the 90s promoting and working hard for small presses, local poets, local poetry, and I still believe William Carlos Williams and Wallace Stevens are on the right track as far as that goes. But like I say, I, I like the, the way this blog interfaces with the stuff I'm writing. Okay, that's that's one answer. That leads to the second answer, which has to do with what I'm writing. I'm writing a very long poem called Ravenna Diagram. It's very... Uh, people may think I'm some kind of obsessive compulsive person. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't think so. But the poem does have a design. It, it's a kind of processual, serial, diaristic, developmental, pilgrimage kind of poem. It's a walk. And maybe, a, you know, in some ways it's similar to what, what uh, Leaves, of, Leaves of Grass meant to Walt Whitman. It's a similar approach in some, in some respects. So that processual, processual, <laughs> serial, diaristic dimension works with the blogging technique. Excuse my language. Many of the poems have to do with current events, what's happening now, or their anniversaries, their holidays. They're springboards for memories from personal past, national history, world history, references to things that happened on those days and other times, other places. So that also works with the, the immediacy of the blog. Um, Maybe that covers it, pretty much. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at that. Have a good afternoon.